Hi, my name is Chad Nelson, and I'm a Dynamics 365 Solution Specialist with Western Computer. Today, we're going to go through importing data into Dynamics 365. There's two ways that data can be imported into the system. If you're importing a large amount of data, we recommend a Promatic way, as that is the most efficient way. For smaller jobs, like today, Using the import data wizard tool that's included with Dynamics 365 is perfect. There's five formats that are supported utilizing the import data wizard tool. CSV file, a text file, a zip file, a Excel spreadsheet 2003, so .xml, and an Excel workbook .xlsx. The maximum file size allowed for a zip file is 32 megabytes. In the other formats, the maximum file size is 8 megabytes. So let's get started. One of the most important things when importing data is to make sure that data is complete and accurate as possible. You want to make sure that you fill in any missing information and verify that the names and other information are spelled correctly. So we'll begin by going to Settings. We're going to go to Data Management. And the first thing that we're going to pull down is the templates. So we're going to click here. And you can then get a template of any entity inside of the system and import to that entity. Today's example, we're just going to do a contact. So we'll scroll down here. We'll hit contact. We'll hit download. We'll say open. So you can see now that it's open. We're going to hit enable. And I'm going to go ahead and just make this really easy and simple. Type my name in here. And then I'm going to save the file. Save it to my desktop. Save, close that out, close that out, and then we'll go to Imports, click on Import Data, select the file, copy of contact, hit Next. We're not going to allow for duplicates here, so we'll click No. We're going to make the owner of the imported records, the mod administrator. So we'll hit submit. You can also set up duplicate detection rules. You should check our other video on setting up duplicate detection rules for when importing data to make sure that you're importing the cleanest data possible. We'll hit finish. And so you'll see here that it's under submit. And then we'll wait for this to process. Next step is parsing. And then it goes to transforming, and then importing, and then finally complete. So you can see that we've had success. So let's go check. Move under sales, contacts, and there it is, Chad Nelson. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay alert of all the latest video releases surrounding Microsoft Dynamics 365 for sales.